Hello ladies and gents of YouTube, Rich from PC Games N here and I'm here joined once again by Ben Barrett. Hello. And we're going to talk you all through the League of Legends 7.9 patch, which yeah. is in progress right now on the PTR. And it's a big one this time. It's isn't a big it? old mid-season update. Mm, yeah. The mid-season update. So lots to talk about, lots that's going up. Uh, let's kick off with the tank update. Yeah, so the tanks is kind of the, the main focus of this. They do these mid-season updates every year. Um, they Basically, they do about 24 patches a year. There's the big one in the middle and the big one at the start slash end. Mm -hmm. The big one at the start slash end apparently is going to be huge this year, which means this one is actually a little smaller than the mid-season one usually is. Okay, wow. And still massive. Still massive. Um, so basically, they're, they're redesigning three characters at once. We've talked about these kind of yeah. reworks that they've done before. But this time, they're doing three of them at once. Uh, it feels like they're slightly less all-inclusive than like the Galio one, for example, where we, we talked about with that. Um, they basically changed all of his abilities. Right. With here, they're not changing all of the abilities, but they are doing a lot of different stuff to uh, Sijuani, Zack, and Maokai. Um, they're pretty much three of the tanks in the game that are the least picked, the least interesting. They were tanks in that they had a lot of HP and were hard to kill, but didn't really have a lot going on with that. Well, right. like, you know, they didn't have any taunts. They didn't have nothing any... unique. Yeah, them. exactly. Yeah, nothing to, to really make them interesting in how they do that. Um, and yeah, so it was all three of them again, pretty large reworks. Okay, and you're a big fan of the Zack one in particular. Aren't you? <laughs> so the Zack one really freaks me out. Um, his <laughs> ult was completely redesigned, um, and it, he's like the theme of him is now uh, that he's like kind of changing his body right. um, because you know he's this big pile of goo. Yeah. But that had never been like a massive part of, of how he operated outside of his passive. They okay. pretty much left his passive the same. When he dies, he splits into these four globules, and if you don't kill all the globules, he comes back to life. Mm -hmm. That's cool, and it's you know it, it's decently different from um, Aatrox, who has a similar kind of coming back to life. Uh, ultimate ability so with with Zack they've now kind of redesigned his other abilities around the idea of him being this you know amorphous blob that can change into all these different shapes his ult like spreads him out on the ground and right. becomes this desk, uh, disc of flesh <laughs> which I just absolutely loathe um, and on his, <laughs> on his Q he now can like grab two enemy champions and slap them together yeah, that, and like it's, it's it's pretty cool it's pretty fun um, so then there's Shizwani 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 someone's correcting me somewhere in some comment section um They've made it so her passive is like two different things. Mm -hmm. Her ult is the same as before, um, but she's more built around this kind of idea of frosting enemies and slowing them up. Right. Um, and when they've got this frost debuff on them, or if they've had the frost debuff on them, there's different abilities going on there. Her passive has been made so, um, like for a little while it, during the development of this patch, it would like go away when she got hit by monsters and by minions, okay, as well yeah. as when she got hit by champions. Now it's like always active all the time. So unless like an enemy champion is hitting her, she's always got basically this extra shield on her um, that makes her harder to kill. Um, and finally, Maokai, they've basically made less boring, according to my my friends that that had been you know had to spend a bit of time with them. Right. It used to be good, but like just very boring to play against, very boring to play as. Okay. Um, now, for example, his ultimate summons a wall of tree branch tentacles <laughs> that flow along the ground um, and kind of encapsulate anybody that they, they come across. That sounds anything but boring. Yes, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that's the tank rework, and moving on to the item rework. This is another big change that's coming in with the... Yeah, so this isn't patch. targeted quite so much at tanks. I think that is, you know, a part of it, and that they've reworked a load of items. If you want all the details on this, um, we have our usual kind of patch post either mm -hmm. below the video that you're watching now, or if you're on YouTube, head over to the website. Um, but they're also doing specifically some stuff for support items. This actually reminds me quite a lot of Heroes of the Storm. Right. What they've done is they've added quests to these support items. So as you kind of do stuff with them, as you generate gold through them, and as you do your role as a support player, okay. you, it kind of builds up this item. And as you keep doing stuff with it it then upgrades it at one point and you know you get like an extra thing you get like a, an extra item or it changes the passive on the item um, which is quite similar to a system they have in Heroes of the Storm where certain characters will get abilities that upgrade as they do different stuff um, depending on you know what talents they pick and that sort of thing that's pretty nifty I think I think it's going to be pretty cool I think it's going to work quite well um, I think it's something that, that was maybe missing from the, the support class the reason that they said they were putting this in is they just wanted to have more kind of active decision making when you when you're playing a support character um, and then on top of that, they're also adding two completely new items. Um, one is based around spell tanking. Uh, it's, there's an adaptive helm. It's got, uh, I think it's got MR on it and a little bit of extra health or, or something along those lines. But it also has this passive where whenever you get hit by a spell, you become, uh, I think you get 15% damage reduction against that spell. Mm -hmm. So if it's, you know, an enemy that has uh, spells that hit you multiple times or they have very short cooldowns, then, you know, that will help you fight against them. The other item is kind of more a kind of generic tanking item. It's got armor and magic resistance on it. Um, and it also has this passive 
uh, where whenever you're surrounded by more more people, you get like even more bonuses, and then you can activate it, and your hero actually grows in size, <laughs> gets 100% extra health, right. uh, but reduces how much damage they do. So either if you know you're getting ganked or something, or if you're just kind of in the center of the team, you've taunted them all onto you using some ability, or they're attacking you for some other reason, you can kind of become this huge unstoppable monster for like a little bit of time. That's items. What about the Rift Herald? So the Rift Herald um, is being changed again. They've kind of redesigned this quite a few times. Um, uh, this is also something that they seem like they're kind of taking from Heroes of the Storm, where you can take Rift Herald and then it will drop this item, and you can use that item, and it will respawn another Rift Herald that will push down a lane for you. Right. And that's something that, that Heroes of the Storm has had since launch, and that um, they do a lot of different stuff with. This is like one time, one time on the map. Um, for one side can actually do it. It's not like a respawning thing. You can you, you can't constantly keep doing this to, to push down a lane. It's also not particularly strong on its own. Um, if you just let it go, she's not going to do very much. But if you you know back it up with your team, you're going to be able to take right. down a few towers. It sounds like you know if the opposing team ignores you or you manage to take some fights while you're doing Rift Herald, or if you manage to you know wipe them out, take Rift Herald, and then start pushing a lane with it that will be very very effective sounds like you'll be able to take at least a couple of towers with that um all the balancing and stuff you know that isn't something i can particularly <laughs> comment on and also you know it's all still in flux but it does sound like a really really interesting idea um, and we'll certainly turn it into something that actually needs attention put to it by both teams rather than at the moment where it's just kind of sometimes some people go do it and sometimes they don't right it's yeah not really you know it's just not something people bother with they're also changing the fight against Rift Herald itself, making it more interesting. Uh, they're actually making it slightly easier so that it can be 1v1'd by certain characters if you're playing particularly well. Okay. You probably need a character that's you know got movement tools and does a decent amount of damage and that sort of thing. Your support can't just wander up there and beat it in two right. minutes. But it, you're still recommended to go in there 2v2, but basically you're probably unlikely to die to it unless the enemy team shows up, okay. which they should now because taking it should now be a bigger deal. Okay, that's cool. That's, that cool. Sounds like a... A uh, sort of situational way for, I mean, if you can, you can make a play for the Rift, Rift Herald with yeah, two exactly, of you, or yeah. like one of you can maybe go. It's, it's undefended if you're the right hero for it. Yeah, exactly. And, and as things changes things up a little bit, it's going to be an alternative to just okay. We need to push this lane. We need to push this lane, rather than at the moment where it just isn't that. Okay, very cool. Uh, and that brings us on to the last element of the uh, mid-season update, and mm. that is the new Dark Star mode or the expansion yeah. of the Dark Star. Uh, aesthetic that's um we have seen this before with fresh yeah we? so he had the the, the dark star fresh skin mm -hmm. um very popular one of the more popular ones in the game i think partly that's because thresh has always been a very very good hero right um but they're now champions sorry sorry <laughs> but they're now expanding that um they've got dark star oriana who is kind of surrounded by this galaxy um and kind of picks planets out of it and blows them up because the idea is that they're just kind of these weird star gods um and then there's kazix who's just very hungry Darkstar right. Kazakhs. He's got a little less lore to him. Darkstar Orion is a little interesting. It's like this kind of idea of this cosmic plaything, whereas Kazakhs is just, you know, all devouring darkness type deal. Um, and along with all of that, uh, they both look really, really cool. Mm -hmm. There's a login screen for them, which is kind of nice and creepy. Um, the, the actual image for it's great. It's like this kind of black hole, and coming out of one side is yeah. Ariana. It's very, coming out of the other side is Kazakhs. It's very, very dark, very space yeah, magic. Yeah, yeah. Very, it, it's, yeah. it's really sweet, and it's got like a it. nice bit of music to it as, uh, as, as well. There's a ward that comes with that, as they've been doing with their um, the skin packs recently. And then there's the mode, which is called Dark Star Singularity. Now, you wrote about this. Yep. Um, neither of us have actually played it, but it's pretty much a kind of sumo thing. Yeah, that's that's what it looks like. You basically, it's six dark star threshes, yeah, um, who will use their abilities uh, to sort of control the map and move uh, other players around. Yeah, and the goal is to drag uh, your opponents into the dark star in the center of the map. Yeah, this kind of black hole that's the black gonna hole, suck everything yeah. up. Um, and they, they, I had a look at the, the post um, about this from Riot, and they've basically changed all the abilities a little bit. They've made it so if people are on lower health, things do like more pushback to them and stuff. It's not very competitive, but it does sound like it's going to be quite a lot of fun. Yeah, sounds like a laugh. Um, okay, so th that pretty much wraps things up for the uh, mid-season update for patch 7.9. Yeah. Um, thanks very much for joining us, and uh, like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, all the usual social media guff. Um, and we'll see you next time for the next League of Legends patch. Take care.